New here at five, a big step forward today for the city's Invest Southwest initiative. The winners of first, the first three neighborhood revitalization proposals have been announced. However, not everybody is happy about it on the west side, and WGN's Dana Rebic explains. Make no mistake, when we support historically disadvantaged neighborhoods, the whole city benefits. A big announcement from Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot today. The winners of the first round of proposals for the city's Invest Southwest initiative, a $750 million program to revitalize the commercial core of 10 underserved communities. There is literally nothing like it. Uh, anywhere else in Chicago, and it's a designated city landmark. The first approved project awarded to the Austin United Alliance, which will rehab the historic Laramie Bank building at 5200 West Chicago Avenue. Inside will be an interactive blues music museum and business incubator. Outside, a public plaza with art, gardens, and gathering space. Adjacent vacant lots will transform into a mixed-use residential building with 72 apartment units. The process was intentional and extensive, and we came to the table to start by listening, listening to community voices. You're not community engaged. No. Right. You want the support that you want to carry your agenda forward, and we, we're just tired of it. Members of the West Side Health Authority protested outside the mayor's press conference today, upset their proposal wasn't chosen, a cultural arts center depicting the story of black migration. They feel the group that was chosen, including the Heartland Alliance and Oak Park Housing Authority, don't have direct ties to the Austin community. But it's important when you're talking about Invest Southwest, to invest in the people on the west side. Absolutely. Not use this Trojan Absolutely. horse type of policy to just bring in people who the neighborhood doesn't even want. The other two winning proposals include an eco food hub at 63rd and Halstead in Inglewood, expanding on the Inglewood Square Shopping Center, repurposing the Green Street Fire Station into a commercial kitchen. And in the 800 block of West 79th Street in Auburn Gresham, 56 units of affordable housing with private garden and a playground. Take heed. In Chicago, we have a new way of doing business. And it is called equitable, inclusive growth in neighborhoods, which lifts everybody up all over the city. 